Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a Leona game, and Leona's playing on Dominion, which is um, yeah a map that we haven't seen a lot of in the uh, in the past. Uh, we're probably not going to see a lot of it in the future either, because well, nobody plays on it apparently. Well, everyone plays on it just for the fun of it. But nobody gets good games on it, because I never get games from it. And I never see them online either, so... I would say that it, it is a fair assumption that if people actually enjoyed playing it, there would be more footage from it, there would be more play on it, and, well, we would see more of it, in general. So I'm sure there are people who still like to play it very much, and I'm not going to say that they are wrong or anything like that it's just that I don't get to see it that often so we see one guy going bottom one guy go going to the middle here to the drill so hang on it's boneyard drill and then the rest is going to the windmill and yeah we see uh, uh, three on three fight here and yeah a lot of damage is uh, concentrated on this uh, Talon here and Talon is the first to go down followed by Trindamir who obviously is only good from level 6 onwards but that takes about two minutes to reach in this uh, game and yeah now they're all going to die because Cannon is not going to win this versus Caitlyn unless he still has his uh, no, no, no. His lightning rush, I, wa I wanted there, as a word. So we're going to fast forward a little bit until we actually get into a situation again. So yeah, apparently I didn't have any Leona games on my channel yet, except for a little bit in uh, in one of the weekly challenges. And yeah, an easy kill here, although it's three versus three. Yeah, the um, Talon is probably not the best choice on this map. Although, in the late game, I guess, he can be very good. Because most of the Assassins and Bruisers are very good here. Because the Assassins mostly have escape abilities, and the Bruisers normally don't need escape abilities. And Cannon is going to die again. And is Leona going to pick up the last hit here? Come on. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. I'm sorry for the big uh, bars here in the top, it makes it a little bit harder to see things, but I cannot remove them as far as I know. I can remove the, the HUD here, but I really don't want to, because if I do that, then my own game will be screwed up, and I have to reset them, and I hate resetting things in-game. Anyhow, yeah, we... Uh, captured the windmill again here and we are getting a 1v2 situation and a 1v3 situation probably not going to get out of this one alive a nice dodge but it's not going to be good enough come on there we go uh, <laughs> yeah it's that uh, it, it doesn't matter here but um, yeah he did give away uh, an assist that was really unnecessary. <laughs> that was nice. He threw the Dustbringer just through the middle, just to get the vision. But apparently the guy was standing there. <laughs> so he died. By the way, a very nice trick from um, Caitlin here. She put a, a trap on the healing thing. So you cannot actually get the healing thing without getting damaged. At least I think you cannot. Not actually sure how that works. Now what's this buff they keep getting? Um, is that when you just respawn or something like that? I have no idea. Yeah, it is. It has to be because now they no longer have it. Maybe you get it after a kill, I have no clue. So, points wise, how are we doing? Uh, Leona and Cannon are on Skype together, that's why you see them together all the time. And they are on places 2 and 3. 
with uh, Nocturne being pretty far ahead of them. But Nocturne also pretty far ahead of the enemy uh, number one. So I guess he's been uh, collecting quite a few points. And a 2v1 situation where the turret really doesn't matter. And Olaf is forced to go onto the, the cannon. Because otherwise, yeah, he wasn't going to... Um, yeah, to be able to do anything if he didn't have the assistance of the turret. But then, because he had to split his uh, damage between two champions, he wasn't going to uh, get out anyway. So, defending 1v2 even with turret support is really impossible on this map, on um, uh, the 5v5 map. No, this is a 5v5 map as well. Uh, on Summoner's Rift, it is uh, a little bit better possible to defend 1v2 some champions are actually really good at it even and yeah that's because those turrets cannot actually be turned off these ones can just yeah you can just turn them off by right clicking on them and especially if you're with two guys it is relatively easy to stay alive oh, wow is he going to get out of this wow that was really really low I didn't actually catch the HP, but yeah, you could see that it was um, well below one of the uh, oh, one of the auto attacks of whomever. Even a minion hit would have killed him. And yeah, anything there is completely random because well, you have a lot of rounded numbers in this game. And <laughs> Yeah, if you end up at 1 HP or even 10 HP, most of the time that's due to the random uh, factor getting into your favor instead of the opponent's. So once again, yeah, one of the traps there on the, the healing thing. I, I really like that. It's a really neat trick. And we are going to go get up here. Uh, apparently... <laughs> Cannon getting into a 1v5 fight, and then Nocturne getting into a 1v5 fight. And now they're going 5v2, but that's not going to work either. Especially because the turret is already neutralized. And they may pick up a kill. No, not even that. So all of the enemies are going to get out alive. And kill might actually be able to do something. Oh, almost kills the Talon there. But then immediately gets killed. So, yeah, the enemies are going to... Oh no, only one of them is going back. So the others are still at very low health. And, yeah, let's hope that we see some actual uh, killing now from our blue team here. Because that would be awesome. So a little bit of harassment going off, it seems that two of them... Oh, they, they didn't get away. Okay. Then this might be just what they needed. Uh, Leona going in like a pro. And then, yeah, Nocturne is going to pick up all of these skills because he has the most of the damage. Oh, Leona picks up one as well. So this is probably why the uh, the Nocturne is doing so well in points. Although, yeah, they... They've been creeping up quite nicely, but now 9 and 2, so he has a lot of uh, potential damage at least. He spent a lot of it on Frozen Mallet, of his, a lot of his money, instead of just going for pure damage. Which is, I guess, okay, but yeah, nobody can run on this map anyway, because there's no one, to, nowhere to run to, except to your base, but yeah, that's really useless. And they're going to pick up another kill because the enemy <laughs> ran in while the uh, Olaf ran in 1v3. That's not a good deal. And <laughs> Winchman wanting to prove here that it isn't a good deal. But it can work if you have backup from your uh, teammates. And is he going to survive? No. <laughs> no, 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 not even close. Yeah, I'm not really sure if Talon was the strongest choice in this, uh, in this matchup. But I guess he's doing okay-ish. And yeah, he might actually get a kill even. And he indeed did. 
So, and once again, Cannon versus Caitlyn, and Cannon is going to lose that fight once again. Not able to, uh, yeah, to get to Cannon, uh, to get to Caitlyn, sorry. Um, yeah, it's 3v2 now for the red team. Red team doing a good job of uh, actually staying in the game, because, well, a lot of times you will see that people kind of tend to give up halfway through and yes nicely done it's kind of a waste of the ultimate well not a waste but if you can prevent using that that is of course awesome but in this case yeah sure he can reach with any of the other skills so you might as well use the ultimate for that yeah and indeed the alt for one came out and yeah as I said it is worth it um, if you cannot get the kill in any other way I mean they they got all the kills anyway and yeah that's all that matters the, the points are all that matters in this so the uh, the capture points are all that matters in this uh, game mode since yeah well what are you going to do um, it, it doesn't matter how many kills you have, or how many minions you've killed, or whatever. All that matters is whether or not you can hold on to the turrets when it actually matters. And that is right this moment. Because there's a quest on this one, and they're going to lose the quest here. Oh, nice! Actually getting the kill there. I don't know how, but... The Ignite seemed to do a lot of damage there. And yeah, they may actually be able to keep this point now. Well, they are going to kill this guy, obviously. But the minions are still there and they need to recapture the point. And capture this one. But that was indeed neutralized now and... Come on guys, help him! A little late on the reactions there, but they are going to get both of the kills here. Because there's no way this guy is going to get out alive. And they may actually pick up this third kill without losing anyone. There we go. Nicely done. With the shield, the explosion, getting the kill. And are they going to get this quest now? Because they are 3-2 ahead, so they don't really need to uh, do anything. They they just need to hold their their points and that's it. But getting this quest gives you an additional few points off of the enemy nexus. And yeah, that is of course a very big deal. And yeah, it's uh, 20 points or something off of the nexus, which is a yeah, it it's a pretty big deal. Uh, seeing that they're only at 120 now. So the enemies did neutralize this point, but most of the fighting is going off in the other si on the other side of the map. Oh, this one is actually being neutralized by the minions. We might actually see a 5 versus 0 here. We don't see those a lot. Yep, 5 versus 0. And now all that matters is just to distract the enemy long enough. And as you might have been able to tell at this point it really doesn't matter anymore how many kills you get as long as you can uh, defend your turrets obviously someone is uh, taking the top lane there and they shouldn't defend that I mean they should just defend the other two points because people are going to come up here and get this point for free now and indeed someone is coming back that's way more important. That one guy is not important at all. It's going to take him a long, long time to capture one point. And he's going to have to capture three to win. But yeah, they're going to win easily here with 320 points remaining. That is pretty amazing seeing that. Normally, they level out at about 200. And then the real game starts. Because uh, at 275 or something. Uh, every time you get a kill, it stops giving you nexus points. 
So normally before that, so if the Nexus is above, I think, 25% uh, health, something like that. I don't know the exact amount. I don't really care either. Every time you get a kill, you take a few points off of the enemy Nexus. And that's why it normally levels out at around 200. And after that, yeah, the real fight begins. But in this case, they dominated. They got a 5 versus 0 capture and yeah then it goes really really quickly to zero anyway nice to see a dominion game every now and then nice to see a leona game i will see you next time GG.